Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Data Science with Harshit. So this is the second episode of the Linear Algebra series where we're going to talk about uh, matrix multiplication or dot product in NumPy. So we're going to discuss how do you multiply two matrices or how do you multiply one matrix or one vector. We're going to talk about some properties of matrix multiplication and then at last we're going to see how matrix multiplication is linked to solving systems of linear equations. So we're going to code all of these concepts. So without any further ado, let's get started. So the dot product is a very important uh, concept in linear algebra and also plays a very important role in machine learning as well as in data science. So when we talk about multiplying matrices or you know multiplying one matrix with uh, another vector, let's say, so what we're actually doing is we are not simply uh, you know making or multiplying the individual components. We are calculating the sum of the products between the rows and the columns. So if you look at this example, so what we're doing here to calculate the product is the row of the first matrix is being multiplied with the column values of the vector and then we are calculating the sum of the product rather than simply just uh, doing individual corresponding product of you know multiplication of those elements. If you want to multiply two matrices, basically what you have to take care of is the dimension or the shape of your matrix. So here, let's say in this example, I have the first matrix, which is of M cross N shape. Then I have another vector, which has the shape of N cross T, let's say. Then the product or the solution or basically the result of the product of these two matrices would be the number of rows from the first matrix multiplied the number of columns from the second matrix. So that will give us the shape of our resultant matrix. So if I have M cross N that is being multiplied with N cross T, my product should have a shape of M cross T. So we have to make sure the number of columns in the first matrix should be equal to the number of rows in the second column. So basically, we should have n. So if you see, see n is common in both the matrices. So if we take a look at this example a cross b uh, equals c. So I have a here defined as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and then I have b as uh, 2, 4. So basically I'm trying to multiply a matrix with a vector here and it will follow the same rule as defined below. So this is the notation uh, that we will we are going to follow. We have to calculate the sum of the product of, you know, uh, the row of uh, the first matrix will be multiplied along the column and the product will be, the individual product will be added up. Uh, the sum will be the resultant product. Now, if you look at this example, so we are multiplying A uh, with B and uh, this is what we get after the multiplication using the same rule as we discussed uh, in the previous graphic. So this is what we get. So we have A, which is of 3 cross 2. Then we have B, which is uh, of shape 2 cross 1. And then the product is basically, you can see, we have three elements in one column. So that is 3 cross 1. So following the same rule, we have two columns in A and two rows in B, uh, which is uh, what the rule is and that uh, the column of the first matrix should be equal to the number of rows in the second uh, matrix or vector. And that will give you the resultant matrix, uh, the product matrix, which will be the shape of uh, the number of rows uh, from the first matrix and the number of columns from the second matrix. So that gives us 3 cross 1 uh, as the product matrix shape. So now let's try to reproduce the example that we discussed uh, just now. So what do we need to do is first create A, the first array. So we're going to use the NumPy. I have imported the NumPy library already. So I'm going to quickly create the matrix that we have discussed. So I want one comma two here. 
then I want 3 comma 4 and after that I have 5 comma 6 so this is my A let's run this as A now quickly let's create our B vector so we are trying to multiply a matrix with a vector and then later on we're going to see how can we multiply two matrices so np dot array this is going to be a simple 2d array that will contain two elements two and the second element is four that is it run this so this is what we have in b now what you do is we have the dot function now the dot function is basically this is the dot function that we are going to use from uh, the numpy library so you can use it uh, in two ways so first is you simply call the dot function from the numpy library and pass on your matrix and your vector so I have passed a and b here and let's store the result in c and see what do we have in our Result. So we have 10, 22, and 34, which is what we got in the graphic as well. So that's great. Now, if you check the shape of A, which is going to turn out to be 3 cross 2, that's fine. Then let's check the shape of B, that is 2 cross 1. So, what do you think would be the shape of C? Let's try to find out. All right. C's shape should be 3 cross 1. So let's see. Yeah, all right. So we have C uh, whose shape is 3 cross 1. So uh, this is how you're going to code all of that concept that we have learned about, uh, you know, multiplying matrices and multiplying matrix with a vector. Now let's talk about multiplying matrices. So when we are multiplying two matrices, we have an example over here. So I am multiplying the matrix A with B. And the result is going to be stored in C. So I have my first matrix A, which is of shape 4 cross 3. I have four rows here and three columns. And then I have matrix B, which has three rows and two columns. So you can see that the rule is being satisfied here. I have columns of the first matrix, which is equal to the number of rows of the second matrix. So what do you think should be the shape of C here? So the shape of C is going to be 4 cross 2. So that is the number of rows from the first matrix and the number of columns from the second matrix. The rule is simple as we discussed uh, before relating the sum of products. So we are multiplying the row with the column vector of the second matrix. Again, let's try to see how do we code it. So I have created uh, the matrix A. I have 1, 2, 3. I've reproduced it from the example itself. This is my matrix A, which is of shape 4 cross 3. Then I have created again uh, my B matrix, which contains uh, 3 rows and 2 columns, 3 cross 2, 2, 7, 1, 2, 3, 6. Then the other method of multiplying two matrices or calculating the dot product is I can invoke the dot function of the array and I can provide what it takes as the other matrix that it needs to be multiplied with and the result is being stored in C. So you can see I have the same result over here uh, which we got here. Then if we look at the shape of C which is also same as uh, 4 cross 2. So now let's talk about the properties of matrix multiplication. So matrix multiplication is basically distributive. So if we are multiplying A with the, the sum of matrices B and C, so we're going to get AB plus AC. So either way, you're going to find the same result. Then we have matrix multiplication, which are associative. So if you are multiplying A with the product of B and C, so basically the answer would be same as if you would have done a b and then multiplied it with c you can check it with your own example and then matrix multiplication is not commutative so a b would not be equal to b a because we have the rule of the number of columns and the number of rows so that might not be equal then uh, when we talk about transposition so 
if you multiply two matrices and then take the transposer it basically simply if you're going to simplify it so that will be equal to b transpose multiplied with a transpose because transposition as we discussed in the previous video it mirrors the axis so let's quickly take uh, uh, talk about one example so let's say i have this matrix a over here and then i have uh, matrix b so a is of 4 cross 3 and b is of uh, 3 cross 2 so let's say I want to first multiply a b and then take the transpose of it so quickly multiply a and b and then take the transpose of the result so let's see what does this give us so I am basically calculating a b transpose of a product of a and b now if we're going to simplify it so that would be like b transpose into a transpose so this we have calculated the left hand side of the equation now let's try to find out what happens if we first calculate the transpose then uh, do the dot product with the a's transpose so i have b's transpose multiplied with a's transpose the result should be equal to this lhs which we got above so let's try and run it okay great so we have the same result as you can see uh, either way if you're going to simplify it a multiplied with b and then uh, you take a transpose of it so that would be equal to b transpose multiplied with a transpose so let's talk about system of linear equations here yet another very important topic in linear algebra and it is being used in solving a wide variety of problems as well so we'll see how we can use matrices to represent a system of linear equations so when we talk about system of equation we are basically talking about a set of multiple equations so here let's say i have two equations y equals 5x plus 3 and y equals 3x plus 10 along with their graphs so basically your system is defined by the number of equations and the number of unknowns so we have two unknowns here y and x and we have two equations so basically that would correspond to two lines on the chart so when we say that we have two unknowns we say that we are dealing with two dimensional data and when we say that we have two lines or two equations in that particular system so we are saying that th we would have that many number of lines so here lines is because of uh, the linear nature of the equations so since we have uh, all the equations as linear in this particular system that's why we are calling it system of linear equations going forward so if you look at this system of linear equations where I have a m number of rows going from a1 to am and I have n number of unknowns as you can see x1 up till xn so you can kind of make out that uh, this can be represented using a matrix and a vector. Uh, so this is kind of a multiplication of a matrix and a vector so what we are looking at is so this is our a vector this would be treated as uh, the weights for each of the unknowns going from a1 comma 1 and a m comma n so this is like a m cross n matrix then i have n number of unknowns as we saw so this could be uh, an x vector a vector of unknown so if I multiply this with the, my A matrix, so I would have this uh, system of matrices which would uh, further represent and describe the uh, system of linear equations that we discussed. So if I multiply this M cross N matrix with this N cross 1 matrix, that would give me an M cross 1 vector, output vector in terms of B. So this is how you can use matrices to represent these linear equations which are further being used in algorithms like linear regression. So this is so this is a linear regression model prediction equation. So a linear model basically makes a, a prediction by simply computing a weighted sum of uh, the input features plus a constant term which is theta naught here which is called the bias term. 
So that was all about matrix multiplication, their properties and how they are linked with systems of linear equations. So in the next video, we're going to talk about identity matrices and how do you inverse a matrix, which is further used in a lot of other concepts. Then if you found this video useful, uh, please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on all the great content that I'll be rolling out soon. So up until next video, stay tuned and keep learning data science with Harshit.